Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name's Alexis and I post four videos a week on a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday at 7am and I would say that I was a variety channel so if you love a variety channel and you want to see more videos then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and now I'm going to share with you my reorganisation of the spare room, the airing cupboard and my son's bed. Bedroom. As I just mentioned, today I want to share with you my reorganisation video. So recently I had a bit of a tidy up upstairs, so I wanted to rearrange the airing cupboard and I also wanted to sort out a chest of drawers that we had in the spare room. And my son's room also needed a little bit of TLC as well, so I decided to do these jobs and put them all together in a video and then obviously I had to share them with you. So here is my reorganisation of the spare room, the airing cupboard and my son's bedroom. To start the process I had to go into the loft to get a box down. So we are currently storing lots of Ted's old toys and clothes in the loft and um, some of them we could probably get rid of so I decided to go up and have a look and see if I could find a box. The box I needed for the spare room because in the spare room we have lots of toys that we wanted to keep so I wanted to put them in a box. I did buy a box from Ikea but I realised it wasn't enough so I had to go up to the loft and get another box down. So once I brought that box down I then started to tidy the spare room. I needed was in the spare room I then emptied it and I put all the toys that Ted no longer plays with into this black bag and these I will either give to charity or I'll give to a friend so once that was done I then decided to clear the top of the chest of drawers and take down all of the toys and use the spare box I got from the attic and one I brought from Ikea and the reason we're tidying this side is because my husband bought a guitar recently and he wants to learn how to play it and he wants to put a stereo in this space so once that was done, I then dusted this area and then I put everything that we no longer need in the spare room into the loft. So we had some boxes that needed to go up and we also had some spare Christmas stuff that was still downstairs that needed to go up as well. And then I put the boxes that I filled with the toys into the loft as well. Next I'm going to be clearing out this airing cupboard so I'm going to take everything out and then I've got some boxes that I brought from Ikea and I'm going to try and put everything we use in the boxes and then put them on this shelf up here and then there's some of these that we're going to hopefully sell online they're the seat covers we want to buy new chairs for downstairs so we're hopefully going to sell the old chairs and get some new ones um so yes we want to sell the seat covers as well so yeah i'm just gonna have a little tidy out of this cupboard now and uh and hopefully make it look a little bit neater than it does really to start reorganizing this area i took all of the sheets and the towels and everything we've been storing in the airing cupboard out and i just put it on the floor in no particular order i did have to remind myself exactly what we had in this airing cupboard because i had forgotten but yes i decided just to take everything out and just to sort through everything that we had
thought it'd be clever and put the two new boxes up here. This post is broken, this does need to be hammered back in. But I've been hindered by a pipe, which is a little bit annoying. I'm hoping that they both fit, fingers crossed. I don't think they're going to though, which is a bit of a shame, but I hope they do. So I'm gonna give it a try now and see what happens. I decided to test the shelf just to make sure they fit and I'm really pleased to say they did. Um, so once that was done, everything that I wanted to keep in the airing cupboard, I decided to put back into the airing cupboard and anything that I didn't want to keep, I put into the spare room drawers and then there was a few items that I want to give to charity as well. So yes, I've tidied this area and it's looking really good now. So please, that fits. So in this one, I'm going to have duvet covers. Um, the ones we use and spare ones and then in this one I'm going to put the under sheets for the beds so these are the under sheets that we use on our beds these are just drying out before they go into the box um, but I'm really pleased with this it actually fits and uh, I have a confession to make I didn't measure that which was a bit naughty but touch wood it fits and hopefully that's going to work really well um, and then I've just put the towels here that we actually use so i had some spare towels and i'm going to put those in a chest of drawers but these are the ones we rotate every week so i saw it would probably be best just to put the spare towels in here um not the spare towels the towels we use in here and then the spare towels in the chest of drawers so yes i'm really pleased with that it looks so much tidier in here now thank goodness as you can see here, any items that we don't use all of the time, I decided to store in this chest of drawers just to keep the airing cupboard a bit more streamlined, basically. And any items that we haven't used for a long time or for, are for different size beds for whatever reason, I'm going to give these items to charity, hopefully. So yes, I just folded them up and then put them into this black plastic bag. And then once that was done, I then moved on to sorting out my son's room. Um, he basically has a lot of cuddly toys. So recently I went to Ikea to see if I could find any storage boxes for the cuddly toys. He has a space um, in his bedroom that could be filled with boxes. So I bought these boxes. But when I bought these boxes, I didn't realise that they were this small. Um, there are toys in them now. I have filled them with toys and they do look good. But I did want slightly bigger boxes. But I decided to go with what I've got for now. Maybe in the future I'll think about using different boxes. But yes, I'm just decided to go with what I've got for now. So the first thing I did was to put the boxes together. They're very easy to put together. Obviously IKEA come with really good instructions. I did need a screwdriver, but that was it. It came with all the screws and everything. Um, and as I said, they were really easy to put together. Um, and yeah, they do fill some of the toys. Some of the toys do go in these boxes, but not very many so i might have to rethink that idea at some point in the future but for now i'm really pleased with the way they look in his bedroom and I've moved some of the toys out into the small boxes down here unfortunately these boxes are quite small um, and I didn't realize when I picked them up in Ikea so I think I might have to go and buy some bigger ones 
but I have got rid of a few toys from the big box at the end of the bed so I'm really pleased about that and that's everything done now so that's my reorganization video and that's it from me thank you so much for watching please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button see you all soon bye